What up everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange, dude. So I want to try to get the the rest of the series done in the next two episodes. Um, so they may be a little longer, so just buckle up, dude. Let's go. Here we go. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your... Hmm. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Lay it on him. Let's hear it, dude. Let's hear why you've been keeping this secret, dog. Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school there was one person everyone adored teachers friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long What is, oh, oh shoot. This is interesting. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. Mm -hmm. While the rest of us were pursuing college. Careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I feel that. <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting way to do this. Where you went wrong. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. I had so much love. I was still blind. Sorry if it sounds like I'm scratching something. My eye is fucking itchy as fuck. So she started doing drugs, I see. I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. And Hard drugs, too. What happened. She would never do anything to hurt you. The 
was wrong. Eventually, I saw her. Or who she really was. That's sad. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone. Anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her. That's real sad, man. But you saw at the overlook, Rachel. It was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss. It was a kiss. Goodbye. I told her. And I was happy for her. And she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Fine. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world chance to be your mother and she squandered it Minya it pained me to hurt her like that but I'd do it again and again and again to keep you safe man that's sad as fuck bro the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone. Yeah, you got a point. The addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And, and she could get better. The, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Damn. Rachel, I think I need to lie down. That's fucking sad, bro. I don't even know what to say, man. What the fuck? Where'd that come from? Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you totally saved us. Without you, there would have been no show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. That's uh, it's rough, man. It's very rough. And this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. 
My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. Well, I don't think you should keep her from meeting her. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea. I feel like that's just going to lead to problems. Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I mean, yeah. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. She was addicted to pretty hard shit, man. Shouldn't that be up to Rachel? But shouldn't that be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. She's always going to want to know more. Yeah. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. No. Uh. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Damn. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. I will. That is something I will always do. Yep. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. Man, this is heavy, bro. I care about her too, you know. Even though I can't see Chloe and she's <laughs> she's faced the wrong way. <laughs> well, what a solemn start to an episode, man. Where would I go? Cotton Eye Joe. I guess I go talk to Rachel. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh, you got stars on your wallpaper, dog? Dude, you got another star? It's fucking electricity star? Light star? <laughs> Did you got fucking masks too? That's fucking dope, dude. Rachel? Hell is empty. Episode three. Raquel. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Tap or swipe, okay. Be here for Rachel. Okay, that's that's very, very uh precise. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Yeah. I'm scared I'm going to do something that's going to piss her off. She's in a very fragile state right now. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. We were so close to making our break last night. Should have done it. Now, I don't know. Should have done it. Milk. Oh, that's not milk. Is that what? No, that's not milk. I'm not going to use her laptop. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Yep. <laughs> that 
least she'll have something from tonight. Yeah. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. That's true, dog. That's true. Oh, the globe. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder that's if a that's cool globe, dude. Connected. Find something that brightens the nightlight. Okay. There's a pretty high-powered flashlight in that emergency kit. Oh, there's a, okay, there's a flashlight in the emergency kit. What's up, Rachel? How's it going, dog? <clears throat> that should work. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Okay. How are you going to make that work, Chloe? Oh, I see, I see. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Okay, speak. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hey, check it out. Poor Rachel, man. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. I could tell. She caught a fucking electric. Ow! You got an electric star, dude. So much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Yeah. Because we're blinded. But That's we true, and we're always looking down. Exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead. Yep. For millions of years. They're all... Oh, she's been crying so much. Still beautiful. That doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? They technically are real, they're just dead. <laughs> it's all lies. <sighs> Poor Rachel. My entire life, my dad, <laughs> my mom. If I can even call her that anymore. She's still your mom. She took care of you. Other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. That's her fault, bro. That's something she's got to deal with. That's not on you. Any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'm honored. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. That's so sad, dude. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That. 
My real mother was gone. That's so sad, dude. I know I keep saying that's so sad, but it, it really is, like, she just realized that her mom, her quote-unquote mom isn't even her mom. She, her dad's been lying to her, even though it was to try to protect her, but it's just, it's just sad, man. Sad all around, dude. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here. me I think I need to see her is that wrong no it's not wrong of course not but it, it might be tough to track her down yeah that's true it is but true I, I've got my secret weapon What's that? What if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Uh, I've got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You'd do that? I'll yeah, why not? Shot. Even though I owe him like a lot of money, and I didn't get him of his money that he asked for, but know where she is. We need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Uh, I think I can handle that. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. <laughs> I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? Tell her, yo, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, shit. After my dad died, I was... That was a joke, by the way. I'm just kidding. To him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak... In my dreams. He's there. Yeah. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Well, just all types of firsts today, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to make light of the situation, Rachel, even though it's not a, it's not a light situation. Thinking, maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. See? To us. That's true. I mean, and they're still there. They're just fucking exploded, man, you know? Right. I mean, I guess that makes them not there. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Interesting. You just fucking broke my world there. <laughs> oh, shit. We're in dreamland. Oh, fuck. Howdy. How you doing, Dad? I can see the textures are still fucked. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Huh. Remember when we used to work on cars together? Nope. Those I wasn't there. <laughs> one of my favorite memories. Our memory or my memories. 
Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. True. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? Take a look at what? This is trippy, bro. It's like a fever dream. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Here it is. Fine. It's it's a spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Well, that doesn't mean it couldn't it be faulty. It's supposed to be all about yes and. Yes and what? Dad, what you guys look at now? No, I'm just playing. None of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. What do you say? The world's a stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. <laughs> I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Understandable. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Yeah. Wow. That's... That's why we lie, dad, isn't it? Dad. I don't lie, to get it from. or try not to, at least. There's my cue. Dad. Try my best. Oh, Relax. that's sad. It's that's the me. truck. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh, fuck, dude. That's crazy, dog. What the fuck? Dad! There's blood there and everything. That's what? Shut up, Victoria. <laughs> Gosh, damn it. That was intense, man. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find I feel like they'd be able to hear you walking in on the he roof like that. So be totally pissed about Damon's money. Probably. I've got to get this exactly right. Oh shit. I can do this. Right. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Uh, I can explain. So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. Come on, Frank. You're a nice guy. woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something... Important. Can you help? I'm helping a friend. It would mean a lot to me. I would 
really appreciate it? I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... Yeah, Frank is pissed, that dude. Went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? For real, dude. Getting get into into it with drug dealers and shit, man. That's that's bad. That's very bad. Thank you for being there for me uh, last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Chicken butt. No, I'm just playing. Hmm. I'm a good kisser. <laughs> okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think you can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house just showering up. Showering, then grabbing tools for the truck, so meet me at, meet at the junkyard. I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. All right, well, that's what we're going to do then, I guess. Mom playing music? This is, okay, so is right all along, Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now, yep. I've had it with the school. Nobody gave a shit about me. Come on. Last night, it was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Well, it was your fault for trying to drug her, Victoria, so shut up. <laughs> oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass, that's just the worst, for real. Fuck you, Chloe. Fuck you, Victoria. <laughs> you guys see what I, what I was talking about, about Victoria now? She's an asshole. <laughs> shower. Okay, shower. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Excuse me, no idea. Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just like wait for it. Score. No oh, hell yeah. It's a pirate towel. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. I can wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. You could do it. You could do it now. Do it. Do it. Do the roar. I had the best shower of my life. All right, no one look. Dum de dum de dum, just show time. Fuck, I want to go do something else. Oh shit, she did it. Oh, she did it to a part of her hair. I thought she died her... Oh, never mind. I'm not going to spoil nothing for you guys. I need new clothes. New cloth has? I don't know why I'm saying fucking words like that, man. Is that your mom's room? What do I feel like wearing on this 
easy as day. Everything. Skull, dragon. Look at these nuts. Skull. Hell yeah, dude. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. All right. Dad's toolbox should be in the. All right, let's go find those tools. Right, that's what we're doing, right? Uh, yeah. Jacket, plant, shelves, laundry. I don't think they're in here. <sighs> Can I just say, allergies piss me off. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Let's go. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Green I'm flipping them over. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> can't stand what? Cooking eggs? You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Huh. Let's go. Go find the tools, dog. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. And that shirt... Oh, I haven't seen it in ages. In ages. Uh... I was out of clean clothes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd be coming home. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Huh. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. Doesn't seem like home. I'm not staying long. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. No. Are you coming home tonight? Mom. I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm just hanging out with Rachel. I'm. I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh. How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Oh. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. She's just trying to connect with you, Chloe. Come on it now, man. Take a minute. Mom. Chloe. Why do they all look like they're about to cry? I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. You damn straight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's hear it. Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was 
uh, out of line. And I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Okay. Apology accepted. I'm not going to start shit. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. I guess I am going to start some Tony. shit. <laughs> what? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been <sighs> meaning to show you. This is something. awkward, bro. It's awkward maybe, as fuck. Maybe now's a good time. What is it? This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed. Shit. Near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. Wow. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into. That's sad. Once we got back home. But he died. Fuck. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. Aren't you supposed to not tell people that? So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get I mean, over the loss of your dad. Just, just be happy, Chloe. Just, just go with it. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? For, Think about what for a I've little said. while. <laughs> Sorry, this is a serious moment. Accept David's offer. I'm not going to be a dick, dude. I don't ever want to be a David dick in these games. So young. And this Phil guy. They look close. Yeah, that's sad, man. Thank you. David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. <laughs> Mom. I'm so proud of you both. Mom. I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. You got it, David. I got I you, dog. You, Love you too, Mom. All right. All right. Well, that was sweet. Oh, hell. I mean, it is sad that his friend died, but that's that was a nice gesture. Just gotta grab dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Maybe. Bunch of heartfelt moments in this, uh, in this episode. And bad textures. I can't blame the game. It's the fact that I'm playing it on the phone. That's what's that's what the problem is. At least it runs, right? It's a squirrel. Sup, squirrel? Me. Wolf. 
I'm not a mechanic by any means, but I have changed an oil. I mean, <laughs> I have changed an oil. Damn I have changed... <laughs> you hit your head. That sucks. I have changed the oil in... Um, Better. Just one but truck. I haven't done it. It, it was a 94. Uh, it was my first truck. It was a 94 or 97. One of those I numbers. Need to find the right tool uh, problem. Toyota. Damn. Tacoma. And that shit was a pain in the ass. That's why I never wanted to be a mechanic. Because, I mean, I respect what they do, but it is not for me, man. This connection is pretty shaky. So many small things and tight yeah, fucking squeezes not everywhere. Not helping. Alright, wait, what am I doing? Oh, fuck. I guess I'm just fixing it. I can definitely see some problems. Well, yeah. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Uh, okay. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. See, I don't even know what a fucking distributor cap is, man. Nothing doing. Pliers. I don't think the pliers are gonna work. Nope. Damn it. Not gonna help. Screwdriver. There we go. Let's fix this bad boy up. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, oh shit. Okay, yeah, it's just air quality. Equality. Go back from whence you came. All right. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Huh. Better leave it be. This thing is gunked fuck up. It all is. Chloe has been in a junkyard, dude. I don't think you'd be able to do that. I'm just gonna say that right now. I don't think that's uh, realistic. But maybe it is, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Maybe with a fucking screwdriver, dog. Nothing doing. Oh. Well, maybe with a fucking wrench, dude. You should put a socket wrench, because that's what that is. <laughs> Excuse me. Much better. All right. Last thing. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. 
So probably pliers, right? Chill out, dog. <gasps> Excuse me. There we go. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. A deadly electric glove. Bugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Huh. Come on, yeah, I fixed that puppy up, dude. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. Whoa. You know how to drive, Chloe? You have a driver's license? Taking that puppy for a spin. Damn, drifting and everything, man. Yeah. Queen. Hey, it's Rachel. Damn, she's wearing a badass jacket. Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... Blue. <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. Damn. But, yeah, badass too. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. You're practically a certified mechanic now. You right, dog. You right. The shirt to prove it. By the way, that is very unrealistic. She didn't even get under that truck once, man. I don't think that... I mean, you might not have to do that for all trucks, out? but... I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot harder than that. Oh, well, look, there's Frank. Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're I knew he'd be here. Frank. What's the occasion? It's his oh, fuck. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Fuck. For fuck's I don't have sake, it. The money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. Huh. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Rachel's gonna fucking kick your ass, dude. When you talk to me. Don't oh shit. Touch her. Oh, this is bad. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? 
But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Was that guy at the concert in the, in the beginning? No, he wasn't, huh? It's a different guy. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. Is that true? Nope. No. I, I was just asking for some help. It's not a big deal. No. Maybe I'll make it one. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. Yeah, that's not that's a bad idea. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Yeah. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay. Then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. Uh, why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Because, fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. No, 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 Rachel, chill out. Rachel, no, Tell no, no, Rachel. Me where she is now, Rachel. <sighs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> he knows. That makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid Damon your dad's a real piece of shit you know we know <laughs> you're aware not sure what that has to do with us me neither but I'd like to find out what does that mean fucker next come on man they're just kids no they're not this one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm Oh, down. he doesn't know then. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. Oh, Rachel. Get crazy. Gosh, damn. Oh no. Oh. Rachel. Damon. What the fuck? Chloe. Go. Now. Hold on. God, see, Frank's a nice guy, but damn, this I told you this isn't going to end well. Please don't die, Rachel. No. She's losing a lot of fucking blood. Break, drive, Chloe. What's your problem, dude? That was fucking intense, dude. And I ain't talking camping, man. Shit, Rachel. She just got stabbed in the arm. She should be okay. She did lose a lot of blood, but she should be all right. There's no major arteries in the... In, or, well, yeah, there is. Never mind. I was about to ask a stupid question. This is fucking sad. <laughs> She's T-posing. <laughs> That's 
it's fucking funny, dude. I know this is a serious moment too, but the girl is T-posing. <laughs> She's doing it again. This is scary, dude. Rachel. Yeah. Going to be all right. Knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. That's good. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. That's so fucking sad, dude. Chloe, what happened? I'm trying to figure that out. It's my fault. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. Tell him. So. Oh, she's going to tell him without me doing nothing. This, since you know Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? To ask about Sarah to scare us away. Uh, he asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. To be honest, I, all, I you already forgot what he asked okay. us. Of course. Is that how it became violent? He wanted dirt on you. He wanted dirt on when you. When found out Rachel was the DA's daughter. He, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't say anything, no. did I? Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. And he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just yep. grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. Yep. Fucking crazy I, shit. Thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. Fuck, dude. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. I don't want to go back to Blackwell. To fuck? What about Damon? What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. Well, he should be alive. He had the fucking knife, dude. Hopefully Frank's alive, I man. that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know what she does. Thank you. Thanks. Man, what a fucking episode, dude. What's that girl's name again? Stephanie? Yep. I fucking got it. I'm horrible at names. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty good. 
Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Me too. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. And that is where we're calling it today, dudes. What a fucking episode, bro. I told I told you I knew that it wasn't going to end well. Um and it's probably it's still not over um with Rachel messing with with the fucking drug dealers and shit, man. That's just no bueno, man. This is no bueno. That just has trouble written all sane. over it. I need to stay busy. But uh, there to do around here? we will figure out what happens with the rest of it in the next video. Like I said, I want to try to get the series done in the next two videos. So the next one is going to be very long if we're not close to the end. So just just get ready for it. I hope you're enjoying the series and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, do all that wonderful stuff. I'd appreciate it very, very much. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, whatever time you're watching this. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay up. Peace.